Hey guys, and I'm playing Greed Corp. <laughs> Brand new. Uh, I've heard quite a, quite a few good things about this game. And it's pretty cheap, so I just, just bought it. Um, and I've got no idea how to play, so... I'm gonna feel myself doing a tutorial. Ooh. Ooh. Good ammo. Um... Simple. I've already seen the basics of this thing. So I mean I saw this guy I saw no a little bit. Oh god my voice like crack. Let's start. Gonna do a voice, gonna do a voice guys. I need to do a voice here. Let's start. Oh god, I can't do a voice. Let's start with the basics of the game by going oh, God I'm horrible. Let's start with the basics of the game by going to the nine of our actions. I complete tasks in several game situations we learn how to use these actions. Okay. The hexagon shaped tiles you see represent the land you'll be fighting for. These tiles have different acts and consist of multiple layers. Half of your mouse over your tile and dots will appear on a mouse guys so we can indicate the Oh god, I'm saying it wrong now. We'll indicate the number of layers in that tile. Okay, so you tell the layers that they hover. I'm reading the free map. Okay. Enemy or not occupied. Tiles with walkers or buildings. Okay, that's easy now. Get turn base. Okay, and turn bottom right. And I can speed up a frame this Okay. Hmm, so. Oh, and turn. I should love that. I like that. It's such a pretty cool game. I mean, it's simple. Let me see the print. Okay, guys. So Things getting complicated. Hey, why is it set at one? Not that. Okay. If action, uh, eight actions. Okay, basic actions move on the uh, walkers when. Okay. A group of walkers is represented by a single walker and it can only 16. Okay. Okay, that actually, actually makes that make sense. So if they've already moved, they can't move again that turn. Okay. I think they're there anyway. Um, walkers. Okay, walkers can be used to attack any time. Each okay. Oh, so it's the right equal. That's cool. It's cool. So it's not random. It's pure equal. I like that. You want to catch an enemy tile you need to put an equal or higher amount. Of, okay. Um. Oh, so I just. Okay. Guys, if you see an easy amount there, I'm probably going to have to change that for my own username. Uh, yeah, oh. Okay. Oh, what's it going? Oh god, no, it's going to be bad. Oh, yeah. Easy amount. Um... Capture all enemy tiles, okay. Yeah. Oh. 
Uh, if you guys can't hear the music, uh, sorry about that. That's cool. Simple. Oh shit, it's pretty good. I mean, graphics wise, it's not bad. What's this? Um, Kara? They can move up to three tiles within their own territory, or they can move one tile adjacent. Okay. I can use a carrier to perform a walking move with unlimited range. Okay. Um, but how do I know about that? Uh, So I get the same amount of money for each turn. Harvesters, okay, what does that mean? They automatically turn one layer into credits. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Um Okay, once all layers of a tile have been harvested, the tile will collapse. Okay. Oh, is that what the any walkers or buildings on cuts that were lost. Um, is that the same? Yeah. Uh, I want to put that down there. I want to put it down. Do I have, oh, I have to collect 50 credits. Okay. Shoot. Um, got a kind of tap there in. I guess that makes sense. Then. Being the tutorial. <laughs> oh, now they're down there. Okay. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay, that's. Mainly because
much guys, sorry for that, um, delay, the delay, okay, I'm about the enemy, okay, what, weapon, oh, Okay, I like that. So that's sort of where the strategy comes in. The harvest is like that. Okay, that don't attack me. wrong with these graphics uh the steampunk i like that harvesters can self-destruct use a harvester by oh okay um okay Yeah. 